name is David Bro, and I'm a pen and ink artist. So this is from like day, this is day one, well I think day one probably, since I was a kid in high school. So I'll sit in front of the TV and draw on that. So studio, this is an open studio at the senior center. I come here probably once a week on Tuesday mornings from 8.30 to 11. When, when I talked about studio at my home, I really kind of have three studios. I have one in the dining room where we eat, <laughs> set up next to the dinner table, of course. I have an easel there. I have an easel downstairs in the basement, although I don't paint much down there. And then I have the piece of resistance couch in front of the TV. Yes, I'm watching TV and drawing at the same time. People ask, well how long does it take you to do a drawing? I usually tell them, depends on how many movies I can watch. And you wouldn't believe how much free coffee a person can get by decorating a cup. Yeah, I'll walk, I'll walk up there, it takes me about a 10 minute walk, I'll go up there have a cup of coffee and a pastry. At one point it, it was decorating based on the design of the cup. But over time it's just something and so it, it gets to be a little bit more abstract because I just block out everything. And so over the years I've come to find that my health is a little less than it was. I also have Parkinson's. So I'm involved in a Parkinson's group. I'm participating in a summit in Washington, D.C. on the 22nd of October. And you know, we used to go to these, they used to have these free uh, concerts at Maryland Hall. They had this concert, free concert, that lasted about 40, 45 minutes of a group of Chinese. And they would come over and give concerts to their MCs over here in Washington, D.C. But before the concert, they had this little, like a craft fair where they display all their crafts and jewelry and all this other kind of stuff. Well, they had these paper masks with a bag of three crayons for the children. And so I thought, that seems quite interesting. So let me see what I can do with that mask. And so a couple of pens later, <laughs> and a shadow box. And that's the uh, interesting thing that I have in these drawings, is that I do incorporate a lot of that personal stuff. You look at the mask and then you see one little bit and you think, wait a minute, is there another one? In the beginning, when I first started, and when I was about 40, you know, after I retired, I didn't have any limitations on myself, like a lot of people do. Because I'm doing a lot of walking, I often walk up near the uh, historical site there on Lon in London Town. Well, I did several sketches and I did several paintings and pen and ink drawings of the wooden fence on the left as you drive it in. And I drew this and this, this whole area was blank. And I thought, what am I going to do with that? And I thought, oh, we'll just put a line down there. And that was it. So in the beginning, there were faces. One of the things I also did was people, portraits. And the success of my portraits, I believe, is based on Abigail McBride. She's a portrait artist and instructor at the college. And as a result of her instruction, I've taken portrait one and portrait two. Because of her instruction, it gave me the confidence to start doing portraits. I mean, it's not perfect in any sense of the imagination, but I think it gives you the, uh, the idea. It's a veteran's narrative. It's a, uh, it's a collaboration of the Warriors Music Foundation and MC3. A collaboration is for funds for their new building. So they decided to have a project similar to the violin project a couple of years ago. I think they had like 12 or 14 violins, if I remember, quite a few. But anyway, so this is a little bit different where we're marrying six artists with six veterans and designing or decorating two guitars. Fortunately for me, I was lucky enough to acquire two practice instruments, a mandolin, 
and an acoustics guitar for my grandson. And because of that, I was like, before I went on vacation, I was probably al almost finished with decorating both guitars. My veteran just happened to be the CEO <laughs> of all things, the, the CEO of the music, music Foundation. Fortunately for, for me, the guy liked black and white, which is really perfect. And so I did a design based on that. And what I also did was I created these storyboards before I put anything to paint, paint on. And so I figured if you do a storyboard and you show the veteran the storyboard, and if he approves that, then you're basically good to go. And it's just paint on it. Well, that's as far as far away from the truth as had two designs, one for electric guitar and one for the acoustic guitar. So this is the back for the acoustic. All, and if you're an artist and you think grids are important, you're darn right they are. Okay. So this design basically started out and it got to this point and I'm lucky enough to do two critiques a month. One with the Meadow Creek Artists Guild and the other one with the people that I paint with on Wednesdays. And they quite like that. They like they agreed with me that this design was a pretty solid design. And so that's what I used. And this design was the front of the acoustic guitar. And it includes 10 years of duty and duty stations for the veteran. He was an intelligence specialist, which he is today, same job, just as a civilian. And so this is his duty stations. He went to recruit trainings center, E1 through E4, 5. He was on the Mount Whitney, etc. So all his duty stations and the submarine. And in this particular case, I added a little thing here that uh, is going to be unique to him and probably not catch everybody's eye, but I have little stars here in this geometric design of the flag. There's 10 stars there for 10 years in the Navy. And on the back of the electric guitar, I have uh, some Morse code. And we added the drums in the back because he plays drums. So this is the electric. This is the back, of course. And these areas, ge geometric shapes, that's all the electronic covers, electrics. And then this one here, again, is a very similar design. Not exactly what it turned out to be, but I figured I could play around with this quite a bit. So again, like I say, you can go over this several yeah, times with paint and uh, get your design down and then you go from here directly to uh, the guitar. You will see the other ones as of September 6th. It's the opening day of MC3. So this is the process. So she wants a nautical theme to include information about a sailboat that was designed specifically for the uh, Chesapeake Bay. It's called the Chesapeake 20. And I did a few designs of this to get this kind of movement going. So this is this is going to be this guitar here. So in, in addition to all the sailing stuff, I'm incorporating a map and a chart of the area. So this is Galesville, and then this is a wrap around here, and then I'm including the uh, a small image of the bay as well. And this is going to be representative of, of a compass. And this is going to be down the center, and then small vignettes of different parts and images of the sailboats around the bay.